Noting significant details. English for quarter one, week three. To begin with, let's have your learning module in English, your pen and paper. As we go along with our discussion, please forgive me for some words that are mispronounced because I am suffering from Bell's palsy. Pero sabi nga nila, a teacher by heart didn't give up. So, come on! And let me remind you, be kind to yourselves. English lang yan. Ang mahalaga, you're trying and you're learning. This lesson highlights the identification of significant details in a text. This involves the process of noting essential information that texts provide. This process allows you to notice the events, characters, and other information highlighted by authors or writers. You are expected to demonstrate understanding of the text elements, to comprehend various text types, and note significant details portrayed in the selection or passages. Again, you are expected to demonstrate understanding of the text elements, to comprehend various text types, and note significant details portrayed in the selections or passages. Listen to me as I read the selection Aku by Cynthia Sherwood. We all sneeze sometimes. Sneezing is a reflex that your body does automatically. That means you cannot make yourself sneeze or stop one once it has started. When you sneeze, your body is trying to get rid of bad things in your nose such as bacteria. You have extra germs when you have a cold, so you sneeze a lot more. You might also sneeze when you smell pepper. Inside your nose, there are hundreds of tiny hairs. These hairs filter the air you breathe. Sometimes, dust and pollen find their way through these hairs and bother your nasal passages. The nerves in the lining of your nose tell your brain that something is invading your body. Your brain, lungs, nose, mouth, and the muscles of your upper body work together to blow away the invaders with a sneeze. When you sneeze, germs from your nose get blown into the air. Using a tissue or sneezing into your sleeve, captures most of these germs. It is very important to wash your hands after you sneeze into them, especially during cold and flu season. Do you ever sneeze when you walk into bright sunlight? About 25% of people experience this phenomenon. Scientists believe that the brain gets confused when signals from the optic nerve trigger the sneezing reflex in the direct sunlight. This usually runs in families. If someone nearby sneezes, remember to tell them, Gesund hate. That is a funny looking word which is pronounced Gess und Heit. It is the German word that wishes someone good health after sneezing. Now, did you understand the selection that I have read for you? Let us check. Which part of your body work together when you sneeze? Okay, your brain, lungs, nose, mouth, and the muscles of your upper body work together to blow away the invaders with a sneeze. So, you are correct. 
Next, what does the German word Gassenheit mean? Very good. That means I wish you good health. Why do some people sneeze when they walk into bright sunlight? Yes, scientists believe that the brain gets confused when signals from the optic nerve trigger the sneezing reflex in the direct sunlight. Now, let's have another selection about Uang N Salagubang. Uang or the rhinoceros beetle in English is one of the few beetles called by name in the Philippines. Other beetles are referred to as Salagubang, the generic Tagalog word for a beetle. Although we can see various pictures of rhinoceros beetle online, nothing can compare to seeing one up close and personal. From experience, I can tell you that if one gets on your clothing, it's really impossible to get it off easily. The variety found in the Philippines is the Asiatic rhinoceros beetle. They may seem formidable and vicious, but appearance can be deceiving. They have sharp claws and those claws can only hurt you if you get pinched by them. Other than that, they are practically harmless. They also have horns and there is a difference in length depending on whether it's a male or female. From what I understand, it's the strongest insect in the world. I'm not willing to test the assertion. Okay, what are the names of the two types of beetles which are found in the Philippines? Very good, we have Uang and Salagubang. So, what variety of beetles do those two types come from? Yes, Uang or the rhinoceros beetle in English is one of the few beetles called by name in the Philippines. And other is the salagubang or the generic Tagalog word for betel. And the variety found in the Philippines is the Asiatic rhinoceros betel. How did the author describe the claws of uang and salagubang? Very good. They have sharp claws and those claws can only hurt you if you get pinched by them. Do you think you will be hurt once you see an uang or salagubang? Okay, the answer is no because they are practically harmless. Remember, details are small pieces of information that support the main idea. They tell something about people, events, things, time, objects, circumstances, situation and manner there are two types of details we have the implicit and the explicit implicit details are used to describe or define a general state these are the details that we can't really see these are details that are implied but not easily expressed when we say explicit details, these are the specific details that we can see and are measurable. These details are stated clearly. Noting details is a reading comprehension skill that involves picking out from a piece of text information to achieve a given purpose. These details are the ones that good readers notice and authors use to emphasize the events, characters, and other details in text. We have the basic types of text, the informational or factual text, and the literary text. When we say informational or factual text, this informs, instructs, or persuades reader by giving facts and information. Its purpose is to describe a place or thing using facts. It retells events 
which may have already happened in time order. It classifies, describes, and gives factual information about people, animals, things, or phenomena. It also gives instructions on how to make or do something. On the other hand, literary text entertains or elicits an emotional response by using language to create mental images. Literary text purpose are to describe people's characters, places, events, and things in an imaginative way. It retells events from novels, plays, films, and personal experiences to entertain others. Is that clear? Well, that's all for today. If you understand the lesson, please write your name in the comment section below. Once again, with Teacher Kat, you learn a lot. See you again. Bye. Shukran. Maraming salamat. Thank you.